Hello friends, welcome you in Research News. In this video, we are going to see that how to make a linear graph for percentage body weight change data. So, we have collected the data that includes the animal body weight and from that we have calculated percentage body weight. Now, we, now, now deri we have derived the mean and SEM. And from data, here we can see that data is available for 7 days, 14 days, 28 days and 28, 35 days. So, we have collected is mean, SEM and number of animals. So, we will put it in a graph now. Here we will select mean, SEM and number of animals. That we have selected in group option. Uh, in group one grouped option so now we are going to add this data in graph we will add here the groups all groups a normal control disease control and as per the standard and treatment as in our data requirement we are dividing the group and here we are going to add the days almost we have completely added all the data now we will make this in sort so that it will be easily visible in the graph uh, we can easily express in graph so it is day 35 we will reduce the gap and now our graph is our data we have added now we are going to analyze in 2 ANOVA and we have select all and simply we have to select this option because we have selected the group in starting and multiple compression. In that we will go compare cell means regardless of row and columns of the last one because it is not visible for me right here. And we will select here the Turkey recommended option and OK. So it will automatically calculate the significant level and we will select this option here we can see the all data it has already calculated so now we have to select that the same days are visible to both side versus day 7 versus and normal control and disease control we have to select this part and we have to give some color as per our requirement we have given here a red now we will move ahead and see the uh, disease control versus treatment and standard option. So, so here we have selected standard and this one same for same days. So we are going here to select another color because it is different than the uh, normal control and disease control because no, uh, we are analyzed two times here. First normal control and disease control, second with the disease to treatment or disease to standard now we will go for 14 days here we first selected no normal control per disease control and then we have selected normal to standard same we will repeat for all days day 7 14 28 and 35 and we will check here it is giving a significant stars or not it not showing stars so because we have selected here the minimum significant level 0 0.05 and according to that it is not showing any significant effect. So we are going to select here now next for 21 days. Why we are doing so this way? Because first we have to check that normal control versus disease control is significant or not. If it is significant then we have to see the data of disease control versus treatment and standard if they both are significant then only we can say for that day data is significant so we have to put the stars here we have completed all up to 28 days and at 28 days it's showing a significant data here, here it is showing significant but this is worth it in treatment. Here it is showing a little changes. But uh, we cannot add this. Well, we are uh, comparing 
normal control and disease control is not significant. So it will be not considered as a significant because we have to prove first we are here we will select X and Y option and accordingly the graph option this graph option we will select and we will add here mean plus SEM and we will click OK the our graph is now ready we have to give the color according to the requirement here we will see now again uh, here it is showing significant and not disease control versus treatment but our disease is not significant and now we will we have to add here star while it is normal control and disease control both were significant then only we can add here star otherwise it is no use to adding star here so here it is we will give some colors to all the lines we will select disease control here and select whatever color in our uh, all lines we have to give so here we have selected as per our requirement the color and that should be different with each other so easily we can differentiate them so here we have selected the color according to our requirement so all color it has already given in that uh, group as group wise so here we have to write a percentage body weight change now our graph is almost ready and uh, now we will see how to resize this graph we right click and select the option resize graph option and we will resize it we will get the bigger graph than the earlier one now we will select these group so we will place it in uh, downward and uh, now you can you can change as per your requirement and now we can see here the now we will see how to uh, we are adding here both side uh, bar graph so it will be easy visible and more permanent the it will show the standard error mean now, now graph is completely ready and uh, we can also change the error color so we have changed we have selected the bar and uh, uh, trying to change the bar color as it is given in as per the line color we are changing it the bar color also and uh, for all bar we will changing the colors apply and ok now all the bars colors are changed and now it is visible like same color are given to all now we will add the star we will try to see that how to add the star here but uh, as uh, as per reality it is not needed here because i told you the reason normal control and disease control are not significant so there is no need to add here star now here we will see that uh, day 35 is still pending to separate from the all comparisons so we will uh, separate the normal control and disease control first and then uh, we will mark it as a red and second we will uh, separate the disease control and treatment so uh, here we, we can see it's not showing any significant in both analysis not showing any significant now we, we will see here the graph there there are very less gap between the lines means group lines so we have to we can make some changes and it will be visible more prominently so to do that we will do some changes so what to do we have to break the graph from the maximum level and downward from the initial level so what will we 
we will unmark the uncheck this bracket and we will reduce the maximum and lower level of the graph and we will mark is uh, minimum 10 and maximum 90 so we will see now the gaps between the lines is now you can easily see and it is more prominent than the earlier so these changes we can make in this linear graph lastly we will see how to put the star in the graph so for that suppose our in our multiple comparison suppose normal control and disease control are significant so in that condition here on day 28 suppose uh, normal control and disease control are significant and uh, already it has given and the in this uh, treatment uh, treatment its significance so we have to now put the star so what will we do we will use t option that given in menu and from that we will select a star here this star representing that our disease control is significant compared to normal control so and uh, again we will see in the multiple comparison where here treatment is showing significant so by this we will we will put here one another symbol you can use here use here has so to represent your treatment group is significant so we will add here has here you can increase or decrease the uh, size of the star and has here symbols or star and has representing that the disease control a uh, disease is completely induced and against that the treatment is working so we have put the star but uh, in our condition it is not working and uh, disease is not induced properly and uh, the treatment whatever it is showing significant it has no use now this is ready your uh, percentage body weight change linear graph now you can copy and paste when wherever you need it so how was the video please comment thank you for watching research news thank you thank you very much